okay i've read about it and it doesn't say anything about putting it into a recovery mode or like uh, doing some other wondrous things with it it just says you have to connect your phone and uh, execute some commands so what i've done is that i've changed uh, the mode of the phone from uh, memory card to phone portals and that has resulted into one thing that is nothing is showing up on my desktop regarding um, regarding uh, detected motorola a853 or anything of that sort so let's see how it works it's a bit difficult to uh, type and record at the same time so i've just uh, typed in uh, dot forward slash spf flash of vulnerable recovery uh, only rma id 90-78.hpf and pressing enter waiting for phone it still hasn't detected my phone so um, i have to figure out how this works and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, after reading up a bit on the forums, I think I uh, know what's going on. Uh, some people are suggesting that I should have the phone in bootloader mode so as to make it uh, accept SPFs, which I didn't know earlier. So uh, in order to get it into bootloader mode, what I need to do is press the power button as well as the um, a central button of the trackpad. So I'm gonna get it into bootloader mode and then I'll resume this video. Clearly I can't do this while holding the camera up. So I'll get back to you in two seconds. Okay, um, I held the power button and I'm still holding the um, central button. And this seems to be booting up Android normally. Um, that was a fail. So, okay, there was a vibration that does it vibrate when it is booting up? I didn't pay much of an attention actually to it. Mm. Okay, that was a fail, so I'll try to get it into bootloader mode first and then I'll resume this video. This is a remarkable discovery. I have uh, booted up the phone into what appears to be safe mode. Uh, I have never seen that before. If anybody else has, uh, it says safe mode right here at the bottom. Uh, I'm using a X6 with I don't know what camera settings, uh, so I'm not quite sure whether you can see it, but it says safe mode right here. And uh, the screen is all funny and it's all looking really weird. Uh, so I'm gonna try and uh, flash it now. Let's see what happens. It's in safe mode. Waiting for phone, no, no difference whatsoever. Going, rebooting the phone once again. Maybe it gives me some additional settings if I'm in the safe mode in the settings menu, but I don't know. It's powering off. Uh, pausing the video for a second. Okay, that was a little bit of a silly mistake by me. There are actually detailed instructions on the wiki that I mentioned earlier about how to flash this. And I've completely ignored it like a stupid fool. So, going on. Mm. What you have to do is plug in your phone while it is switched off, go into the bootloader mode by holding uh, the up button from the hardware keyboard, press the power on for 2-3 to three seconds, if the up button doesn't work, try pressing X. Now select your phone which should be now visible in RSD light, blah blah blah. So I guess uh, it works pretty much the same way with the Linux flasher. Uh, I'm gonna try that now, switching the phone off. After you, after you have used the original Motorola firmware, uh, original Motorola Android, uh, oh, one sec, oh crap it booted, uh, you do find out that there are a lot of tons and tons of bugs that are there, uh, the advantage of using CM7 would be that uh, since it is constantly being updated and they actually do listen to what the users have to say, so uh hopefully all the bugs will get sorted and um also you can contribute towards sort sorting out of the bugs uh, i'm going to try and get this to work in the bootloader mode again that's another fail uh the motive of this these videos is not to actually put anybody off from uh, trying to mod their phones, it is just simply a realistic uh, documentary you would say for 
uh, first hand experience of modding one fine day if you just wake up and if you think that you have to uh, mod your phone which unfortunately for uh, milestone motorola users is uh, it comes with a lot of uh, signing and uh, uh, locks and everything the bootloader is locked and blah 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 that is why we need to use different techniques to get over those uh, hurdles okay my phone is plugged in while it is off now i have to go into the bootloader mode while pressing the power button and gets difficult while so try to do it Funny thing about this, these videos is going to be that I'm not going to edit a single second of it. You can, it's, it's going to be a complete first-hand experience. Okay, I'm trying to hold the power and power and. Up. Let's see if that works. Holding the up, I have gotten it into bootloader mode previously, but that was by accident. And not during this session of attempting to hack it. Still holding the up button, holding it. Android car pops up. Okay, I have put it up using the up button itself, not the X. So I guess that will work if I'm not holding the camera in my hand and if I have both of my hands to work with. So I'll see you in a sec after I get it into bootloader mode. 